up? I'm Michelle B and as most of you will know, I have been going through the Comrie process for the past few months, vlogging it and I've been seeing where it takes me. So the basic core message of the life changing magic of tidying up is to surround yourself with only the things that bring you joy to help you establish the life that you want. Choose what you want to keep, discard the rest, declutter category by category and reduce to the point where something clicks. And I'm going to go into my key takeaways of the book. Just like with any goals, you need to define your why. You need to visualize the end goal. How do you want this process to make you feel? Feel being like the key word. Tidying isn't about literally being tidy. It's about establishing and maintaining the lifestyle that you want. Storage experts are hoarders and there is a whole chapter on this in the book. Putting things away into those like complex storage systems isn't getting your shit together. It is creating an illusion of getting your shit together. Tidy up all in one go. Don't discard one thing a week. The more time it takes, the more tired you feel. Tidy by category, not location. If you keep on approaching it by location, you're gonna get exhausted by the end of it. You'll end up repeating yourself and it'll kill your motivation. Choose what you want to keep, not what you want to get rid of. You wanna keep only the things that are bringing you joy. Every item should be considered. Pick everything up and always ask, does this spark joy? Store everything vertically, books, clothes, it will save your life. Reduce to the point where something clicks, where you feel like you know everything you own and everything that you own is necessary and you love it. Everything should have a designated space. And now for what I learned by going through the Comrie process. Cleaning is exhausting. You may think that you can tackle everything you own in the one day, but you absolutely cannot. It's really not an easy process, especially approaching it in the Comrie way. You may end up with very little to wear slash use. So one of my big fears that I mentioned is I was scared I would not own anything after the end of this process. And that sort of happened, although Marie Kondo says in the book, like, you'll end up with everything that you need. For me, I found that I ended up with very little and I did need to replenish what I owned with items that like fit my vibe and did spark joy. So Comrie has her own order of the categories as you should go through them. The categories she gave were quite like vague in general and so I used her order but I just had to get a little bit more specific with those categories to make sure that I really covered off on everything. I would recommend writing your own list and making sure that you're incorporating all of your like little side hobbies or anything that comes to mind that you're like wait that's not captured. Sorting through your random crap will make you incredibly conscious of all of the crap that you own. If you find that you have five bags of clothes to donate, go and donate them now or they will remain in the boot of your car for six months. So my main benefit and what I really craved from going through this process is that I know what I own and that sounds really dumb, but it makes me feel like in control of my space when I know exactly what's in my room, where everything is. Unintentionally, my style has been really defined by going through this Comrie process. You can honestly see it, like even have a look at my Instagram, have a look at my videos, everything just goes together, everything just makes sense. You'll be seriously conscious of what you buy. This could potentially save you money because you're just gonna be, it's almost like afraid that you'll be buying things that won't spark joy. After you get that feeling of like, oh my God, like I know what I own, everything makes sense. You'll be like, I don't wanna bring something into this space that doesn't make sense, if that makes sense. As for is it actually life-changing, I definitely feel like it's very gradually changed me and changed my perspective of just the things that I own and like I said, bringing new things into my space. I'm still on my personal journey, but if you want somewhere to start, I think the life-changing magic of tidying up is definitely a great place to kick off. So if you guys have read the book and you have any key takeaways, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, do all of that stuff, and I will see you soon. If you didn't know, I'm a big fan of the podcast. Yes, it started with cereal. If you've never listened to a podcast,